My friends, I welcome you to episode 3 of the Scorched Earth series, where me and Drake attempt to beat this game within 100 days. This will be days 21 through 30, where we really start to progress towards a better future. But, without further ado, let's get this started, and immerse yourselves in the world of Scorched Earth. Day 21, me and Drake finally came up with a to-do list, that way there was some type of form and structure for the coming days, instead of us running around like chickens with our heads cut off. There we go, that's better. Also, I never got the memo that in this game, you need a cryo fridge nearby to use cryopods, so I wasted some time getting the materials ready for cryopods, went and crafted them, and we can't even use them. Dude, something's attacking our thorny dragon. Yeah, it's a snake. He's been out here for a while. Where, where, where's this map? Yeah, who do you think you are, huh? 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 Yeah. Sit down. <laughs> uh, uh, what was your goal to punch him to death? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gotta, gotta protect the flock. Gotta protect the flock. I had Drake look at our to-do list, still not knowing that cryopods wouldn't work for us. To-do list. One. Get a cave mount. Two. Grab cryopods. Three. Explore cave. Four. Get a generator and chemistry bench. Remember how I said doing a to-do list will give us some structure and form? Well, turns out it did the exact opposite. I went to go make cryopods, and then with that, we were thinking we could bring thylas in caves, so that was our next plan of attack. Cryopods are the best thing to exist on this planet. With a storm rolling in, I headed home, which means we're most likely going to be stuck inside all night. Oh, chief, I got something for you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, look how beautiful they are. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> it's like a little baby. As night approached, me and Drake were getting antsy. We had been locked up in our house for too long, so we decided to say, screw the storm and screw nighttime. We're going out. Let's go on a fucking adventure. I wanted to reiterate on something. So we're on our way to go get thylas. And yes, for now, they're a waste. But when we do have the ability to make cryo fridges and place them in front of every single cave, thylas will be worth it. Or at least I thought so until I figured out they got nerfed to hell and back. It's only level 50, dude, but I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, he is. And it's also really dark down here for some reason. All right, all right, all right, all right. Homie, chill, homie, chill. Why is it getting so dark? It's complete. Okay. I keep missing. I wish he would be on you because it's so dark. I can't see. Well, how, why can't you see? I don't know. It's literally pitch black. It is not pitch black for me. Oh, I can see again. Let's go. Oh, wow, man. I didn't even realize my dire wolf's almost dead. I need you to take this aggro. He's knocked out. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Day 22, right after knocking out my Thyla, we found a level 95 for Drake, which will do him pretty good. I had no problem taking the lower level of the two because Drake's been stuck with a raptor while I've had a strong dire wolf this entire playthrough. So he deserves this. Gosh, that bleed, bro. I know, man. My dire wolf has not had a break at all. He should be getting pretty... There it is. There it is. All right, I'm gonna go work on getting prime meat. Thylas are one of the few creatures that like cooked meat over raw. And with the fact that we haven't seen an Ovis yet, and I don't think we will, cooked prime meat is just gonna have to do. We're gonna be here for a while though. I've got plenty of prime now, so I'm just gonna make a campfire real quick, cook some, and then I'll bring the rest to you. I was actually stressing out because neither one of us brought narcotics or narco berries to keep these thylas asleep, and it's already a struggle when you're using cooked lamb chops. If you could, do you think you could run back to the base and get narcotics or narco berries or something? Because if my Thyla's probably gonna wake up if not. All right, I'll be back. While Drake was away, I continued on cooking prime meat, but it was a struggle keeping my Thyla asleep. It was force feeding the very few narco berries I could find. So here's the thing. I wasn't going to tame this, but he ran right past me. I have a hyena and he looks sick. Dude, he has like green on his back, his nose, his paws. Why is this Thylo so good, bro? This Thylo is the best to ever do it. Bro, why are you so... Why? It wasn't going good. My Thylo is about to wake up. I'm stressing and Drake's getting attacked by a Thylo because he's overweight and can't outrun it. What? No, he's dead. Rip's dead. What was that? Oh my gosh. I got you, I got you, I got you. Just, just run. Oh gosh. What the hell? No. Dude, please do not kill my dire wolf. Kill that thorny dragon. Okay, can you just run over there and put him in and I'll feed it? I'll feed it. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. 
<laughs> that was way too close. Oh no, I need prime meat and Hugo's looking real good. No, you stay away from my hyena. Later on in the day, my Thyla finally woke up. So we just hung out by the campfire in the cold desert nights waiting for Drake's. Day 23, we were still waiting on his Thyla to wake up and Drake's Jerboa was screaming, letting us know that a storm was happening soon. And since we already lost half a day being out here, I figured I would just head home while he was still waiting so I could make the saddles for both of us. When I returned, I did just that. I made two saddles, got mine strapped up, and that's when I found out the sad news. Wait, what? What? They really nerfed the Thyla. He can only jump straight up. Bro, he used to be able to jump, like, lunge far forward. So that's why he was good for caves. You could jump over gaps and stuff. But mans, look at that. I am so upset. I'm truly convinced that since in every single video, I've said that Thylas are my favorite dinos, that wild card had to go and change it to make it poo-poo. Anyways, now that we have two things marked off our to-do list, it's now time to work on generator and chemistry bench. I'd also like to point out before we continue that we finally made canteens super late, but hey, better late than never. This is gonna help so much on long trips. For the chemistry bench, we of course needed oil, so I headed to the oil pump we placed down a few days ago to see if it produced anything yet. I'm gonna go check this yellow drop over here while I'm in the area. Please be better than all your brothers and sisters, please. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh damn, the thing's right here. When I checked the oil pump, I saw there was a hefty 196. So we were definitely set for the chemistry bench. Come meet the newest member of the family. Where is he? Where is he? Juvenile scream, yo. Man's really said, ah, oh, yes, a level 10 terror bird's gonna help us beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> When looking at the requirements for the chemistry bench, I knew two things were going to be tough. The cementing paste because we have to craft it, and the electronics because silica pearls are hard to find. I went ahead and made what electronics we could, but it was only 98, so we're still going to need to find over double that. Well, that's until Drake told me he had a pocket full of silica pearls, which got us a lot closer. Damn, my guy, you were holding these, just waiting for the perfect moment. Day 24, we got right back to it. Drake was on the look for silica pearls, and I was gathering crystal. A generous amount of crystal. We figured if we could get this chemistry bench and all of our other industrial items done this early on, it leaves a lot of time for us to focus on the things we want to focus on mid and late game. No way, a sandstorm rolled in. What am I looking at? <gasps> Cementing pace won't take too long. We have plenty of chitin and stones easy to get. All right, well, there goes our entire day. You're in my town now, boy. There ain't no way that you made the saddle for him when he's level 10. <laughs> yeah. Yo, 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 yo. West side's gonna die. West side's gonna die. I'm so pissed off right now. Why was there no a Thyla out here way. just- Unfortunately, the circle of life took down Sensei that we've had since day two. Can I get an RIP sensei in the comments? Later on in the day, I finally got a generator placed down, which for those of you who don't remember, it's wireless in this game. So no need for all the wires and the bull crap. 105 polymer per mantis, let's go. As you saw, day 25, the last thing we needed for this chemistry bench was polymer and Ghost was amazing at collecting it. It took mere seconds before we had everything we needed and I was on my way back home to make the beloved and amazing chemistry bench. I'm jumping so fast. Dude, I'm moving at the speed of light and dark. Holy hell. This has to be a glitch. Let's go. I could play this game a million more times, but it never ceases to amaze me how fast the chemistry bench actually is. That is crazy. Look at that. It's just the gunpowder's rolling in now. It's not, oh my God, it's making more than one at a time. Yeah. It's making like 10. I cannot sand these sandstorms. <laughs> I told Drake the last thing that I wanted to do before we went and started running caves was have some form of protection, maybe a pump shotgun or some other form of a weapon. That way, in case we get dismounted, we don't die. Of course, you know this means that we have to make gunpowder first and a lot of it. Oh my gosh. I got two pump shotguns being made. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I get that sometimes farming sucks in these types of games, but here's the thing. We've been doing it this whole playthrough so far, so much so that we can make all the stuff we want to make without a problem, which obviously leads me to placing down a grill and a refrigerator because food production has been a struggle and a half for us so far. Check out our kitchen. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Oh, how 
cute. Oh, the grills on Ascended look sick. I spent the rest of the evening grilling up food for me and Drake because we deserve a good dinner after what we've been put through so far. Later on, I also figured out that uh, cryopods are not a thing without a cryo fridge, meaning my Paris is gone forever until we get one. Why can I not throw out? Cannot deploy no nearby cryo fridge. Are you kidding me? I'm drunk. What's it say? You have to have a cryo fridge nearby. Yo, join me? Join me in our endeavors. Oh man, I'm feeling the booze. Well, I'm feeling it. Nothing like the Wild West and a couple guys with some shotguns and some beer. Bar fight. Bar fight! <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. Oh, pause, 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 pause. Take your armor off. Bar fight! You're not ready. You're not ready. How did I get knocked out? Is your melee yeah. damage increased? Yeah. No. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, stop punching. Stop punching. Stop punching. Are you crazy? Sorry. I, it was the beer talking, not me. All right. Well, I'm going to go get a Dr. Pepper. You should feed me some berries. Oh, Psycho, if you don't shut up, we're going to fight. Oh, you're worse than a damn cat. Yeah. How you like them apples, huh? Huh? What's your Torpo at? Uh, 180? Ah. Uh, do that. Do that. Do this, do that. Sacrifice to the fish. Be one with the fish, they said. Be one with the fish. The fear of God is the greatest revenge. Not that Screamio could die from fall damage, but Drake thinking he could made my day. No, 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 no. I'll put him down. Put him down. Put him down. <laughs> what is Screamio down? What is Screamio over there? No! No! Screamio, come here, no! He's alive. Dinos don't take fall damage, bro. He's alive. <laughs> He's alive! Anyways, day 26 was a lot of that because we're ahead of schedule at this point and we just wanted to have some fun. But I got back to work by making ammo and then gathering cactus sap later in the day so I could make more adobe. That way we could expand our base for later items. In all reality, I've been ready for caving for a while now. I'm just waiting on Drake to show me one last surprise. All right, I did something that was long overdue. Sick and tired of jumping down for water and running all the way back around. Let's go. That's so nice. Okay, I lied. Day 27, he had one final thing to show me before we left. You've got to be dead. kidding me. That is the most beautiful thing. What have we been doing? I was finally ready for a little adventure, so I headed out to get Drake another direwolf since his died pretty early on. After getting this one knocked out, there was also a nearby Deodon, and I figured that that would be good for passive healing around the base when we're not doing anything. And now that both were knocked out, we just had to wait for them to wake up, and then we could take off to go run a cave. Like you've heard me say a few times now, the Thylas can't fit in caves, and that's all Drake had, so this dire wolf was absolutely necessary. Day 28, the day Don finally woke up, and I began using his passive heal ability to get my wolf up to full health before we ran caves. And while I did so, Drake got us a second Anki named Eastside. And after all of the nonsense, we finally started deciding which cave we were gonna run first, and we came to the conclusion that we were gonna head all the way south when a storm started rolling in. But sometimes you gotta risk it and say, screw the storms, because if we just waited inside during every one, we would never get anything done. This was definitely a far jog, probably the furthest adventure we've had yet being over 2000 meters away. While journeying, we noticed that we were getting super low on health. So it was time to find some water and hang out until we could regen a little bit. When we approached the desert, the sun started rising and we learned quickly that if we continue on, we're gonna die to heat. I have to go back, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Day 29, we were trying to come up with a plan on how in the hell we were going to make it to that cave entrance without dying. Ultimately, it came down to patience and waiting out the day because later on, it got a little bit cooler, which gave us an opening to make a run for it. Thank the lords for the storm. It saved our life. We don't fit. We made this whole journey. There has to be another entrance. Look above. In all reality, this was one of the few caves that we could have brought a Thyla to so we could climb up the wall and jump in the hole. I hate this game so much. Why are we stuck on each other? I can't leave your dick, bro. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, this is annoying. <laughs> there ain't no Dude, way. Yeah. 
the right no <laughs> bro unfortunately what this means for us is we wasted an entire trip so we have to go back home grab our thylas and then run all the way back and maybe be able to beat the cave when we got home we crafted a tent and then immediately headed back out in hopes of making it back to the cave by nightfall oh my what am I looking at? As you could see, we had the most massive and terrifying storm coming our way. We were just trying to get a little bit closer before having to get in the tent. I guess it's back to stories of Megatheriums and Drake being a crackhead. I'm still scared of the great Megatherium? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right, right hook. <laughs> you look like you're hacking in Fortnite. The storm subsided by nighttime, and we were finally back on our way to the cave. You know, seriously, though, I do vote that someday they add tornadoes to this map. The only issue is getting our Thylas out of this building when we're finished with the cave, but we'll deal with that later. Here we go. The cave reworks in this game are some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, but it also makes it that much more terrifying because it feels more immersive and realistic than the original game. I'm kind of terrified. Uh, there's mad, happening? there's mad bats in here. You need to be careful, dude, because we can get uh, the disease. Staying on top of these bats was a must because one disease too many will absolutely be the end of the road for both of us. All right, there's two paths left or right. Always left. I only say that because when we were at the zoo today, left was the only path we took. I think this just loops around. I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. You need to be careful around those centipedes. You need to dodge and weave because when they spit, it hits you, not your dino. So it'll break your armor. It was day 30 and without much progression, we were still in the cave fighting our way to the end. If you get the disease, I'll be so mad. I just got it. Stay away. Okay. Keep y'all infected COVID ass away. <laughs> Bro, I might die. It's 80 seconds of just straight health drain and it is dropping quick. I'll be fine. I've, um, it's, it's over. The whole disease from start to finish is 200 health. Okay. Be very careful. Crossing stuff like this now with a Thyla is 10 times more dangerous since they can't lunge forward. That's unfortunate. No. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, Thylas barely jump forward. Nice, 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 nice. That's what I like to see, brother. I'm so scared. Oh, I still get it. Yup. Yup. All right, we'll just... I, I have keep... COVID. Drake was waiting for his COVID to go away while I continued pressing forward in attempts at finding the artifact. No, don't give it to me. Don't give it... How did that not kill you? If I get it again, I'll be pissed. The end was finally in sight. There was a few more bats to deal with, but we could grab the artifact and leave very soon. This is the same cave as it used to be. It just looks so much different. There's the artifact. Oh my god. Um, oh my god, collecting it was sick. That was amazing. We got our first artifact. Unfortunately, Indiana Jones hit us harder than we thought. I got it. Both of us got the sick, and now we had to make it out of here with a bunch of creatures that just spawned in. Uh, this is how we get out. Yeah, come down here. And a bunch of stuff spawned, so just sprint for your life. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. I'm just running. I'm just running. Oh my god, bro. It, it, dude, literally Indiana Jones times 600. What the hell's going on? Don't die. Oh Sizing. my god, I'm stuck. I'm gonna get the sick. I'm gonna get the sick. Ladies and gents, I thank you so much for sticking to the end of episode three with us. It's been a crazy journey. We're getting a lot of stuff done, but there's still so much to do. So for a little bit of seriousness and a life update, me and my wife are moving across the country in about three days. So with that being said, episode four is going to take some time for me to get out. The drive alone to where we're moving is about 25 hours. But on top of that, we need furniture and I need to reset up my office when we get to the new house. So I can't give you a definitive date on the next episode. Episode. Just know that I won't keep you guys waiting too long. I'll do what I can to get the episode out in about a week, maybe a little bit more. But with that all aside, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I love you all.